Hello, and welcome to this set of video tutorials that will cover Maya Ace. And Maya Ace is a plugin that resides inside of Maya, and that will allow you to connect to the audio to face microservice in order to generate facial animation from audio files. And we're going to demystify all of this uh, in this set of video tutorials. But before we get into the introduction itself to what is Maya Ace, I want to visit a website here from uh, build.nvidia.com where you can see this technology in action. Hi, I'm James, a digital human. You can ask me about NVIDIA and its products. Hello, James. Can you tell me how your face is being animated? My face is being animated using NVIDIA Audio Two-Face, a technology that creates facial animation in real time based on audio input. So the technology behind this is called NVIDIA ACE, which stands for Avatar Cloud Engine. And it makes the connection between someone speaking and a character responding virtually. And what we're doing essentially is that we are taking input as audio, so the person speaks, and what we receive from what we receive for the character is the audio, the voice of the character, and the animation, the facial animation for, for the character. And in the case here of James, he's being rendered on the cloud and we're being streamed pixels and we see uh, James uh, interact. So in, in Ace, there's there are multiple components. The first one is speech to text. So we listen to the person speaking, we analyze the audio and we convert that to text. Once it's in text format, it's being sent to a large language model. So it's being you know, interpreted by the large language model and it generates a response. And that response is sent to another module that create audio from the text that's being generated. Once we have an audio track with a, a bit of intonation and expression, we send it to audio to face and audio to face listens to that audio and generates the facial animation. And that's, we see, that's what we see on the character in the end. So it's a great technology that allows to do that in real time. But what we would like to bring now with Maya Ace is the ability to do the same thing, but within an animation pipeline in, inside of Maya. If we look at how we animate inside of Maya, when we do 3D facial animation, we are actually moving vertices uh, on the mesh. We don't want to do it by hand, one one uh, one vertex at a time. So we usually have a rig that's made of joints, blend shape, constraints, and all sorts of things. And the rig will be uh, paired with a set of controls, and that's what the animator will use to control the rig and interact with uh, with the animation. And the animation will be generated this way. In a, in a bigger animation pipeline where you have a lot of animations to produce, you will have some tools that will allow you to kind of uh, create create different things like poses or phonemes or visemes, generate certain emotions with the rig, and it will simplify the work of uh, the animator. And the animator will work from a reference, either it's an audio track, a video reference, and even uh, motion capture data. So how do we fit into this? So when we look at uh, audio to face the microservice, we uh, we look at an audio file. We analyze the audio file. The human voice has some certain certain emotion, and what we do with that is we generate a set of blend shape uh, blend shape weights that will recreate the animation. It's a very specific set of blend shape. It's the AR Kit 52 blend shape set. But we generate all of the uh, blend shape weights that can be uh, used to animate blend shapes on a on a character, and that's what Mace, uh, Maya Ace does. It uh, creates this connection between in Maya and the audio to face microservice to be able to generate those uh, blend shapes uh, animation. So if you look at this, what's happening is that the animators can continue to work the way that they work, but they also have now access to the microservice to ger generate the first pass of lip sync and generate the first pass of emotion and then continue to work uh, from there. So it's pretty powerful and we'll see a bit more of that in the tutorials. So audio to face is exposed as a microservice. So it's an AI model. It's been trained in uh, multiple languages. And we basically have two models that come with audio to face First, we have Claire on one side and Mark on the other side. Claire has been trained in Mandarin. Mark has been trained in English. They all have different ways of reacting to certain emotions. So you have to kind of pick and choose and try which one provides the best animation for your character. But both of them are, are available at uh, the moment. To connect to a microservice, you need an application, either it's C++ or Python or any other language that supports gRPC because it's the protocol for connecting to the microservice. So the application 
that's been written will any application you can write your own application that you send an audio file and you will receive the uh, blend shape weights or the animation for the blend shape weights and you can in interpret it the way that you want and use it the way that you want in your application as an example that's kind of what we did here for maya ace we created a plugin and it's like i said it's residing inside of maya and it allows you to connect to the through grpc to the microservice send it an animation uh, an audio and receives uh, receive an animation. Once you work with the animation in Maya, you use the different tools in Maya, and you can export it to other tools like Unreal, and we're going to cover that example in the video tutorials. So the microservice is basically running on an RTX uh, hardware. You can uh, install it on any uh, RTX uh, PC if you want to, or you can run it on the cloud where it can scale and service uh, multiple users at the same time. So what we've done for this uh, microservice to be accessible and for you to try, we've installed the microservice on NVCF or the NVIDIA Cloud Framework. And within, uh, within the framework, you can access it. And you, all you need is an API key. You provide the API key in, inside of Maya, inside of the user interface, and you'll be able to connect to the cloud, generate animation and animation, and get, uh, and get the data back and use it inside of Maya. And like I said, it's an example. It's an open source. We're going to see that the code is available for you to look at if you want to write your own things. And we'll also uh, see some Python example within uh, the, um, the the tutorials. If you are interested in understanding all of this a bit more, you can visit the uh, uh, build.nvidia.com slash nvidia slash audio2face where all of this is des described in, uh, in depth. But, but for these video tutorials, we want you. We want you to be able to set up the uh, the Maze plugin and be able to use it. So we're going to cover different things. First, we're going to see where to download, how to install in the right folders, and all of that. Then we'll see uh, how to get and set up the API key. We'll see the workflow itself, how you interact with uh, with uh, Audio to Face, the parameters, what they do, and all of that. And finally, we'll see what we can do with those animation, change them and export them to uh, Unreal in this case here. And we'll see some example of uh, Python. And in the end, we're just going to look at how to download the source code and uh, be how to compile it and, and enhance it if you want to uh, enhance it or change it. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed those video tutorials and we'll see you in a bit.